Ooh, how exciting. He's selling a new suit. Deep blue suit. Perfect suit if you want to be cool. Or if you want to blow like $350 on something, because, you know. But yeah, I, I, want, I want suit variants. I'm done with these black suits. I got a red suit, and I'd wear that as often as possible, but it's dirty 50% of the game. So I'll take a black suit. Do you guys have food food? These are kind of like food food. Sure. There has to be a better way to buy food. Oh my god. So you click on it, wait for the little transition for the are you sure, then you click on yes. Then a little thing plays that you can skip out of. Then you wait for the money to manually detract. You can't carry any more of those. I'm trying to stock up on as much food as possible. Oh, it's a pie. I thought that was a pizza. Huh. I feel like everything else would be okay if they just, at the very least, let me buy a stack. Like, say I want to buy ten of these. But, but this is definitely like a spam process. You know when you get in those video game rhythms where you just start mashing A on something and you just like, in certain sounds play and that causes you to either press start or press A again? Those patterns. You can't- I can't care anymore? Why can't I care any- Uh, there must be a cap on how many- Uh... Yeah, that's what I thought. There's a cap on how many types of food you can have on you. That's interesting. Thanks a lot, bro. You were yellow, though, weren't you? No, you're not. I imagine that. But that's something new for information. There's a limit on how many categories of thing you can have on you at once. So if I want to have an... And in, 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 in this menu, it's, it's everything from your stabilizers you can use to make reduce your stress, to bait for fishing, to cigarettes, to hot dogs, and root beer. So these are all in one slot together. Yeah, and these ones that heal you for, for more hunger, you can only carry like two of. I wonder if the small stacks of food are in, are in the game so that, to force you to buy more of it more frequently. Be like, I wonder if they thought about like making the food spoil over time, but they couldn't... Maybe couldn't implement that. So instead what they did is they just made it so you can only carry like a couple of them, so that you... In... in, in Effect still have to stock up regularly as if it's spoiling basically because you keep running out. Oh, wow, yeah, max out on my number of all types of healing items I can carry. I mean, I do have an infinite ammo machine gun. I guess that would reduce how much damage I take in most scenarios. I think I've solved the mystery. I think you have to specifically catch her when she's not in her in her office right over there. She has to be standing over here in her gallery. Why? I don't know. Why- why does it matter that she's one room over? I don't know. Also, until recently, everybody who has a quest but doesn't want to do it would just not have it over their head, but she has the quest icon even when you can't go to her. Which the kids also had, which I- I don't know. I thought I could rely on the quest notification at least telling me whether or not they're ready for a quest. Because George didn't have that problem. But these characters show the quest thing even when you can't do it, which is weird. If you don't mind me asking, where is he now? <sighs> oh, this is all ancient history. The woods, the pure little girl. My respect for my father. Hmm? What? That... That's not in human dialogue. What was that? If you don't mind me asking, where is he now? Ah, uh, a different time. Respect for my father. What? I don't even know what York was asking about, let alone what she was talking about. Hi. Oh, Agent York. How may I help you? You were paid $19 because she greeted you. Okay.
Let's see what the quest says. Diane is hiding something. Find the painting of the girl in the woods slumbering somewhere in the art gallery. And give it to her. She may open up to you. How did you know that's what that was? What was the... What was that connection, I wonder? Well, Diane's important to investigate because she seems to be a stiletto heel girl. Which is why we came here in the first place. Well, I don't know if this is going to pan out to being, being anything. I'm also not sure I would trust any of this to... Yeah. I gotta change the... There we go. I had to change the volume of my own headphones. I have to... Ch I'm, I'm having to... Uh, all these consoles I'm playing all play at very different uh, volumes, so I'm finding that I keep having to change the volumes from game to game, and I keep forgetting to do that. Excuse... Oh, hey. I see a padlocked door through the window. I might be able to shoot the lock off from here. That's probably it. Uh, York, I don't think this is within... What's reasonable as your... Oh, ah, oh my god, I'm losing control. Yeah. America. <laughs> this is exactly how we unlock our doors in the United States of America. We shoot them. She's not even reacting to the fact that I just did that next to her in her own business. This is a really expensive building. And I'm just firing a machine gun in it because that's the actually... I mean, not the, not the machine gun necessarily, but it's definitely how you solve the mission. Is to shoot it, apparently. This... Call this a painting? A bit primitive with poor composition. Hardly the work of a master. But strangely, though, it powerfully exudes a soft, warm feeling. On the back it says, Guardian of the Art Gallery, in fresh strokes. So someone added that recently. Guardian of the Art Gallery. Wouldn't that be Diane? And why is this painting here? That wasn't nice. Cold as a painting. I mean, it is literally a painting. Yes, York. Don't be a dick. <laughs> You're the one that's shooting people's locks off to get to the the paintings that they're uh, supposed to specifically not be visible to you, and then then once you're exposed to it, you're being snooty about it. The thing that you got to via breaking and entering, which I don't think... I don't think being an FBI agent just clears you for that. I think you're definitely crossing some lines here. She didn't even ask you for help, you just decided to break and enter for to find a painting. That she didn't even necessarily directly mention. I thought this is where she was. These maps. Oh, it's because she's... It's because she's freaking booking it. Come back here. By the way, the exterior maps rotate when you rotate. The interior maps don't. The way there's... You know, the way maps should. Maps should never rotate. Oh, Agent York. May I help you? Yes, you can. I have an arm for you. Uh, a painting of a girl alone in the woods. I wonder if this young girl is Diane. I'd like to ask you about this painting. Oh my god. You almost cut her in half. And why do you have this painting? I found it in the gallery, and it struck me as a little strange. Anything, even the smallest thing, can help me with the investigation. I truly doubt this painting would have anything to do with your investigation. On the back it says, Guardian of the Art Gallery. That's you, right? You're wrong, Agent York. That is me in the painting, but the Guardian of the Art Gallery that it refers to is not me. Hmm? This was drawn by my father. He certainly wasn't a talented artist. 
but I was so happy when he gave me this painting. I used to love this painting so much. I wanted to hang it by the entrance of the gallery so everyone would see it. That way this painting would, in a sense, guard the gallery. But it was locked up in a small room. Not a nice way to treat the guardian. No, that'll be it. Apologies for prying and for bringing out this painting. It's okay. It's nice to be able to talk about the past every so often. Here, take this. It's a small gift. You have a trading card of your of yourself. Okay. Zach. They say you have to look at the big picture. That was a painting of a little girl that was locked up in a gallery filled with paintings of trees. She'd be Alice if this was Wonderland. What in the world was that quest? Every time she sighed, I, I read it as her sighing because I've, she's like, I'm gonna have to buy new locks. I'm gonna have to buy a new lock. York, you could have fit through that window. You're perfectly capable, but you shot a door. This isn't an abandoned warehouse with zombies chasing you. It's like, it's just somebody else's property. York. Talk to me. Where did the goddess go? No, talk to me. There's so many quest notifications and none of them will do anything. Why don't you love me? Why are you like this? Isaac? Isaac? We saw someone. We really did. Isaac? Isaiah? What exactly did you see? Someone in the forest. Standing under Anna's tree. Not a goddess. A little different. A ghost? Yeah, maybe it was a ghost. Ghost? What makes you think that? We found this on the ground there. Would a ghost drop this? Hello, creepy picture. Let me see. It's blurry and out of focus. I can make out two people, but not their faces. So that's why they think it was a ghost. But then who was under Anna's tree? Bum bum bum! Why did it suddenly work? <laughs> I don't understand. What? I kept trying to get your quest and you wouldn't give it to me and then suddenly you did, but only here in this random chunk of the road? I talked to you a moment ago and it wouldn't give me the quest. This game's... strange. Bark, bark, bark. Oh no. They got my bone again. I'll spare you guys that cutscene, repeating. But I guess- oops, didn't mean to press A. I guess I must have got a new bone. Since last time I talked to them, so there must be another thing in the- in their doghouse car again. Alright, I'll keep getting random rewards, I don't mind. But there's Anna's tree. It's just up the road. Carol! You have a quest. Crap. I don't think the map was saying you had a quest. Does it say you have a quest now on the map? I'm just trying to have a system here. It doesn't. Oh, no, it does there, though. Oh, it's not overhead, but it's on the on the map. I was looking at the, 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 the nameplates, which have shown whether they have a quest before. Okay, two and one, then. Or maybe they are the same quest. Maybe they're connected. Which would still be a two and one, I guess. So we're going back to the scene of the crime. It's just called the Tree of Anna now, as a name. It's named after the crime. Or the victim, I suppose. More accurately. What is up there? I wonder what that item is. Hello, are you the other person in the picture with Anna? Carol.
Wait. Around here. Did you see... See what? Oh, nothing. Just forget it. Zack, I wonder what she was looking for here. But a bit of a doom. Memories of Anna. You mean like a blurry photograph of Anna? Hmm? What do you want? This better be good. Is this your picture? <sighs> yeah, it is. So what? I thought I lost it somewhere. Isaac and Isaiah you did. picked it up. They found it here. Really? Then I'll have to thank them for finding it. Hey. So this is you and Anna? What makes you think that? You've come all the way out here almost every day when it's not raining. You wouldn't do that just to look for a photo of someone else. Impressive. Is that what you want me to say? And you're right. That's me and Anna in the picture. Silly, isn't it? It's so blurry, you can't really tell who's in it. So who took the picture? Anna did. She wanted a picture of us both together. I didn't really want one. So she pointed the camera at us by herself while I was moving around. And that's what happens when you try to take a picture like that. She was always so silly and happy. She took so many pictures. She always printed a load of them and gave them to everyone. Everyone just threw them away. So what about this one? <sighs> you don't make copies of the blurry pictures, do you? We weren't even that close. But I couldn't throw this one away. I see. One last thing, then. Where was this picture taken? Where? Nowhere special. Anna's room. Okay, suddenly. <laughs> of all people, it's a picture of Thomas. Okay. Thank you, Carol. Try not to lose your stuff anymore. I'll give you this as a thank you gift for getting my picture back. I don't want you thinking I owe you anything. Zach, did you hear that? Why would she say, nowhere special? She's trying to hide the fact that it was indeed a very special place. We're sitting here be like, she's manipulating us. She's lying to us. Meanwhile, like right behind me, she's audibly crying. Like, yeah, all right, what a great, we're a great protagonist, man. Oh boy. Can I go right through here? I'm, sorry you're mourning and everything, but I gotta use my machine gun. There we go. What's this? Oh, this is the weird pickles. I remember the weird pickles. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, the, uh... I thought the game was gonna crash, or had crashed, or locked up, or something, when she did that hand gesture, like, four times in a row. I was like, oh no. This is where it ends. Well, alright. So she was looking for a picture of Anna, so she knows Anna. And that's Thomas's sister, who, who owns the bar, so we're seeing more and more of her timeline of where she goes around. She can't- she claims she's not that close to Anna, but she... ...keeps coming here every single day, apparently. I feel like that would indicate that either she is close to Anna... Or it's just that the de uh, maybe just a bit of a missed connection. Just the people around town that you take for granted and don't really interact with that much, and but they made your life better. Like maybe Anna just made her happier by existing, and then she's just suddenly and tragically gone, and so she's just dwelling on that endlessly, despite the fact that they didn't know each other. They definitely knew each other to at least some extent because they're in that picture together. I was on foot because I was chasing these kids. My heartbeat. My poor heartbeat. Well, there's Isaiah. Where's Isaac?
There seems to be something in here. There's the hip bone. Right, okay. Oh god. Looks like we've picked up a little bonus, too. We'll have to give Willie something to make up for this another time. A turkey sandwich? It's gonna be moved to the toolbox. Can't go anywhere else. Mmm, I would love to eat a turkey sandwich from the inside of a doghouse. That's probably a good sign. Ha! Jesus. He like tell- yeah. Ah, look at him go. Where's Isaac? Wait, you're just leaving with only Isaiah. Where's Isaac? Also, why are I why are Isaac and Isaiah constantly getting rides with Kason? That seems a little weird. Damn it. Where's Isaac? I think he's the quest master. I need to talk to the quest master to progress the quest. I found the person in the forest, which was just which was just the same lady that's always in the forest. It is just Isaiah. Him? Did their mom come and pick them up? But only one of them? <laughs> oh no! Because if he only picked up one of them, that's like one of those tragic moments where like somebody... <laughs> like one of those really tragic moments where, so where like a, a mom just remembers to pick up one of their kids and then just leaves the other one behind. <laughs> He's like, mommy? Mommy, where'd you go? And then, like, Kason has to pick up the slack, like, Don't worry, little fella, I'll get you home. Mommy does- it's not that mommy doesn't love you, so you're just forgetful sometimes. <laughs> but they both got in, in Kason's truck last time, so I don't know what's happening. I'm, like, weirdly alerted by the fact that these two children have been separated, because they seem to never be. I think I found another mysterious bone in a mysterious field that I'm just- I'm just abusing my car. I'm just abusing it. Mm, bad car. This car's been just bad. It's just been through terrible things. Right, I should have preemptively parked and just walked to it. Because the car teleports every time I park it. Or it stayed right here. Maybe that was a teleport spot. The sternum. Hmm. A human bone. This might be one of the bones that Brian wanted me to find. These, uh... These dogs are really dedicated to hiding these bones in incredibly distant locations. We're not gonna find out this is like Anna's remains, right? Has she been buried yet? I don't know how the hell she'd be a skeleton already, but it'd be a really dark turn if like this whimsical, slightly dark, uh, quest about uh, dogs raiding the graveyard and, and hiding bones around the, the place. Which is like dark, but you know, a little Halloween-y. A little bit. But pretty fucking dark though, if it turned out to be Anna's bones. Like, newly dead, still mourning, investigating her death, Anna. But, uh, I think she's... I think her body is still in police custody or something. Which, it's gotta be getting pretty ripe right about now, because I've been doing side quests for days. <laughs> But last I, last I saw it, it was having a... The, the thing you do with bodies. Words. Don't worry, it'll come to me eventually. It's, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Don't, don't worry about it. Uh... Don't worry about it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna remember it. We have Nastasia Kinski in the lead role in Paul Schrader directing back in 1981. That's right, Zach. Cat people. About a woman who turns into a leopard when she falls in love, and then eats the person she loves. I thought it was romantic. Real romance right there. Nastasia was perfect for that role. Casting her made that movie a success. Alka McDowell as her brother was also a good call. He's like a panther even without any of that special Hollywood makeup. Now the name Malcolm McDowell rings another bell. You know the movie I'm talking about, right, Zach? Don't tell me thinking about Clockwork Orange. Malcolm McDowell, come on, it's pretty obvious. Blue Thunder. Came out in 1983. It was directed by John Batten. Malcolm plays the bad guy in that one. He just totally outshines the hero, Roy Scheider. At least I think so. I have to say, not many people agree with me about Blue Thunder. 
Zack, if you disagree with any of my opinions about movies, just come out and speak your mind. Okay? Just speak your mind. Autopsy. That's the word I was thinking of. In what way is Malcolm McDowell a panther? But what, what are you saying? What does that observation even mean? I'm not sure what to think about that one. I also have no idea where I am now. Uh, Do you have to. Kason. Kason, that's not how you do it driving. What are you doing? What are you doing here? Uh. Doggy. That's not how dogs work either. Talk. Hey, York. Good weather today, huh? These are the kinds of days where you just want to take a walk forever. He says in his car. Kason, where's Isaac? Where's Isaac, Kason? Oh my god. Driving. Wait, how did you do that? You just strafe in your car? I can see his little I can see his little legs. Isaiah got out, kind of. Uh, Kason. Kason, you're killing him. There he goes. Oh, Isaiah's getting out of the car again. Isaiah. Isaiah, I found who the I found who the person was. Isaiah, talk to me. No, don't go in the closed house. Don't go in the closed house. Where's Isaac? Isaiah, where's Isaac? Are you okay? Did this man steal you? What is happening? Do you live here? I'm. You do you do live here? Don't you? Stop taking my bones. And just, where's Isaac? Oh, I didn't mean to do that. No, I don't need a briefing on that quest. This feels so natural to press A to continue, but oh, pressing A opens that menu. Alright, well, here we go again. I better take a look. So many bones. Looks like we've picked up a little bonus, too. I'll have to give Willie's. A flare. Uh, it's a good thing we confiscated that from the dog. These dogs have concerning habits. There's a whole gang of uh, Rottweilers that are stealing human remains, and then Willie just has like flares and shit just around. I have not found Isaac on the. M oh, he's inside. No. They won't let me in though. I need to talk to Isaac. That was bad. That was bad. This is a nice little park. It's too bad it's full of death. Dead death of bones. Hello. You've been a bad boy. Ah, I can't do it. No. <laughs> what am I doing? Hey, it's an arm. I can actually see this one. Have I always been able to see them? I can actually see it sticking out. A human bone. A human bone. This might be one this of the bones be that Brian bones wanted, that wanted, me, to wanted find. me to find. You did not care about the gunfire at all. Please fix my car, please fix my car, please fix my car. It's expensive and I don't know if they explode or not, but it's a 2% because of the thing where I exploded it. Uh, please. Oh, cool, my favorite guy. Hi, favorite guy. How you doing? Fill her up. Don't spit on my car, please. But also, yes, fill it up. And yes, in case it were not clear, him spitting on my car makes it clean. Well, that was the implication, is that it makes it clean. As far as I can tell, it also repairs it. Him, like, spitting on my car once and going, ring, 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 on a, on a little bit, like that apparently fixes it from the explosions. 